Fantastic Gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Fantastic Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Switch video! So, um... As you can tell by the topic, today's video is eight great controllers for the Switch. Um, for those of you trying to decide which ones are some of the best, um, this video will probably help you out, help you with a little decision depending on what games you're uh, deciding to play or what you're going to use and, well, maybe even how much you want to spend. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. Not gonna say this for last, there's no reason. Just get this one out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, you know what this thing is, right? Switch Pro Controller. It's great, it's smooth, the buttons are fine. Um, everything's good about this controller. NFC, it's, it's the controller to go with for this. But the problem with this, it's so dang expensive. What is this sucker, 70 bucks? I had one since it came out. I bought another one pre-owned because it was a Super Smash Brothers version. But the only reason I bought it pre-owned is because I couldn't find it new. Pre-owned, I got it for $35. Normally, new, I think it's around a $200 mark. $150, $200, that's nuts. So, um, otherwise, yeah, that's a, that's a good choice. But that's the default choice. Next... Um, if you want to spend a little less, this one is $50 compared to $70. It's, it's a little lack on some of the features, but I think it's a, a fantastic controller. And that is the Power A Wireless. Let's see, this thing is called the Enhanced Wireless Controller. Um, it doesn't have rumble. Does this have rumble? I don't think this has rumble. It feels like it has rumble. It feels like it has an actuator. I don't use this one, but I did test it out. This is the one my wife uses consistently. Uh, it doesn't read NFC, so you can't use Amiibo or Amiibo cards, but um, it's the next best option to this. It does have the programmable buttons on the back, but yeah, we don't use those. The sticks are great. Everything's smooth. The controllers, um, the controller's just a good controller. Uh, even the shoulder buttons, solid. This is a very good option. Still a little on the pricey side, but $50 for a very, very good alternative to the standard Switch Pro is, uh, is not too shabby. Next one is another wireless, but I'm going to give you the two versions. I'm going to lump them together because this is the GameCube style one. Again, made by Power A. It feels very, very similar to the GameCube controller. Everything about it. You've got uh, extra uh, shoulder buttons. These are a bit bigger than the GameCube one. Makes it a little easier to press. And then the shoulder buttons don't have the draw distance because, well, you don't need that. But otherwise, this is my go-to wireless controller uh, whenever I want to play anything with the, the game controller, whether it be Smash or any of the... Um, actually, Animal Crossing, because it feels like, you know, I should be playing it on the GameCube. So anytime I want that GameCube feel, um, this is what I go with. And it's funny that in this video, it looks very blue, but this is actually the Indigo. It's much more purple. I find that very interesting. But yeah... Put that one over there. And like I said, we're gonna lump the other one with it because it is oh, dusty. There we go. Now yeah, that looks better. Uh, it's just the wired version. It is half the price. This is 25, that's 50. Um, same thing. Everything about it is the same. No rumble, that's the only bad thing. These controllers do not have any rumble like the GameCube ones did back here. That's why the bump isn't as big. But otherwise, everything about it, very GameCube-y. This um, D-pad is a little larger, it's smoother. I prefer that, but it feels fantastic. So that, we're going to lump with this one 
Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Ah! It didn't fall. Um, next one. And we are going to save the best for last. My opinion, best for last. Now, not all of these are wireless. Uh, there are wired and wireless uh, options. Next one, I am going to say... This one's made by PDP. And that's this one right here. The only thing is... This the this faceplate, I guess because of the texture, gets really scuffed. When I got it in the box, brand new, never been opened, the faceplate was already a little scuffed. And I was like, oof. I've used this a couple times. I popped off the faceplate. Now, the cool thing about this one, this one has a headphone jack. Yeah, not too many games use it, but it's nice to have. And I found it in blue. Uh, I do like the sticks. The only thing compared to this one, these sticks are fantastic. Very similar... Um, to the switch pro controller but these are convex these are concave i like the concave sticks it feels kind of like a uh the xbox 360 had that if i'm not mistaken the only thing it's got this little lip i don't know if you can see it right around it it makes it feel a little weird while this one you can see the lip is it, it looks like a sharper lip but it's not it's very smooth so that's my only gripe with this one shoulder buttons feel fine uh, I've used it. This uh, D-pad's a, a little... I think it could be raised a bit more, but otherwise, it's it's good. It's a very good controller. And I'm pretty sure you guys can see a, a theme going on here, like a or should I say a pattern, but that one here. Most of these controllers will either be made by uh, PDP or Power A out of the third-party ones. I have some others, but they're pretty crap. And, well... That's a topic for a later video. Next one, um, again, it is by PDP. And it feels very similar to this one, but this is a tiny one. This one's actually very good for sticking in a bag. Some people like the um, the 8-bit dough uh, little tiny one, but yeah, I picked that one up. We'll get to that in another video, but... Mm. This one's actually very good for travel. It's it's a little small for my hands, but my wife has the purple one and she loves it. When this one dies, she plugs this one right in and good to go. I actually like it. Um, when I do travel and I want a wired option, I have taken this one. This one's actually very compact, very comfortable, and it has the sticks very similar to this one. So if you have a smaller hand, or if you just like the way this looks, this is a very good controller. I haven't had any. Now, one thing that I'm going to say about all these, there's been no input lag and no um, stick issues or anything like that. It's been pretty solid, pretty on point. Haven't come across any of those type of issues. That's why they're all in this video. But for a smaller one, this is the Rock Candy one. It's a very, very good alternative for... Um, People with smaller hands, children, uh, females, you know, stuff like that, where it, it, if you have a smaller hand, it's great with me. My hands are a little large, so it, it's I have to kind of choke up on this, you know, to hold it correctly. But um, this may not be perfect for me, but it is a very good controller, and others around me have used it. Again, my wife says it's fantastic when she holds it super comfortable i can see that i can definitely see that so for the uh child or woman with a smaller hand good choice and if you guys have noticed something yes i choose blue <laughs> blue and black <laughs> pretty much uh next one so we're on the one two three four fifth controller so that gives us three more now, this one I like um, because it's good for it's good for the retro style game. Uh, depending on what you're playing, it, I find it fun for the Super Nintendo, especially the, the Super NES fighting games. Uh, you know, the, the Street Fighter games, it's, it's very good for uh, the Street Fighter collection. It's very comfortable. It was designed for the Pokken uh, games, but... That would be this one. Originally came out for the Wii U. This is the Switch version. That's why it just says Hori Pokin Tournament J. This is the Japanese one. It does work with the Switch. Um, 
it only has one set of shoulder buttons instead of the two because it's designed specifically for that game but it works with any super nes game but as you see it says uh, zl uh zr so instead of up here they're down here if necessary but they're they're not it's a very comfortable controller uh good for fighting not much else but if you want to play those retro games this is a fantastic feel the the shoulder buttons being a little larger you can just tap it's it's very comfortable the shape is a little different it has a flat surface and the the grips kind of come down but it's actually very comfortable and the buttons have a, a, a lower profile than some of the other ones that has a, a little lower press which makes it better for fighting games or kind of beat em ups or uh whatnot so very good very good controller this would be a niche one but like i said i would recommend this one hey and it's not blue <laughs> next one don't be shocked it's blue is another gamecube variant and that is oh the legend of zelda one shocker it is by pdp um i remember back in the day third party controllers were never that good um they were very cheap, kind of crappy, but lately PD, PDP and Power A have been knocking it out of the park with these Switch controllers. And this one I, I use pretty frequently. Um, and you're wondering, why does it have two thumbsticks? Why? Because it's got a cool little dealie. Let me, boop. Oh, what is that? Oh, you can bop it off. Oh, look, you take this, see that? And you go, and you go, or, there you go. There, there you go. And it turns back to a GameCube one. I know this is a really weird look. The gray and you know what it looks like. I don't need to say it. It's weird. But it's a very comfortable controller. Um, my only gripe, that. It's a very low profile press, but I get it. It's great for Smash. Fantastic for Smash. Um, the D-pad is very GameCube-y in terms of the size, so it's kind of tiny compared to this one, but it's very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. So, that's my only drawback for these. Are, I'm not a big fan of the way they feel. They don't feel very triggery, but they're not really meant for stuff like that. That I do like. I don't usually use that one. I take it off. As you can see, and it has a little, uh, like a key, like a little, you can see that right there. And it lines up right with that. So it doesn't slide. It goes in there pretty tight. And I love that controller. Very good control. You, you, you sit there. So now the final one, I have two variants of it. Let, let's move these out of the way. Um, and I'm lumping them together just because they're very, 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 very similar. And that is the best, the best controller. I even prefer them better than the Pro Controller. And that's the 8-Bit Doe SN30 Pro 8-Bit Doe SN30. Now, this one, they're both Super Nintendo style controllers. We'll, we'll start with this one. Um, the reason I'm lumping them together is they're pretty much the same. This one has the grips, this one does not. This one looks, as you can see, pretty much exactly like it. So depending on what you're playing, this will play with everything. It has every button you need to play uh, any modern Switch game. So, for those of you who like that Super Nintendo feel, this is it. This is the go-to controller. No doubt, the best, hands down, this is what you want. Perfect. But for those of you who like it, but want something a little more modern, a little more comfortable, that uses the SN30 Pro. And the um, shoulder buttons, as you can see, are more triggery. Very soft. Does have the HD rumble. Fan friggin' tastic. Um, I think these have the NFC, if I'm not mistaken. I have not used them, but I'm pretty sure they do. And you can see they changed the design slightly bit after this one came out to this one. Uh, just because Nintendo and whatnot. Best controller. Hands down, best controller. This is my favorite. This is the one I use. 
this is my go-to. Um, I like, I love the Super Nintendo feel. The only problem, my only problem, is the sticks are on the same plane. I don't like that. I like the Pro Position um, sticks, but otherwise, this is fantastic. This, they're not too close. The controller feels great. I mean, no controller lag whatsoever. No input. No, no problems whatsoever. This is a fantastic controller, and it works with PC. So there you go. These are, yeah, I know there's a lot more than eight controllers over here, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight great Nintendo Switch controllers. Yes, there are other good ones. I have other good ones, but when it comes to the ones I use on a constant basis and I can say this one's better, that one's better, this one's better, these are the ones I would recommend for almost daily usage minus this little niche one i just really like that one for uh super nes and retro games and it, it feels great for poking and it's it's just a solid this one it's just a solid controller so i felt the need to throw it in here and it made it sound better eight great ah, nintendo switch controllers thank you guys for watching and uh make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Hit it right there, right there. It's here, here, no, depending, it should be right here. So hit that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Uh, for all the latest reviews, we just put up a, cute, uh, a couple more articles and uh, a new review. Uh, so go ahead, check that out. Head on over to our socials, Facebook and Instagram at redbandanagaming and Twitter at rbg underscore retro. And thank you guys so much. Thank you, and like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.